That's the most challenging part is that uh, all these different angles that we have to figure out, you know, we have to like eye them. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, sometimes you get them, but like if you end up like putting something too short, it's all over. My name is Elspeth Williams. I'm the scenic designer for Waterworks. I've been uh, with the company, this is my third year, and uh, they were doing Othello and uh, Tempest. This is one that I've been thinking about for quite a while. Othello is hands down my favorite Shakespeare play. Um, it was one of the first plays that I ever did a conceptual design for back when I first started in college, and I've always wanted to, to revisit it. You, know, you kind of walk up and down, you, it feels it's a neat little, it's like, almost like a trailer. This set is ridiculous. <laughs> I love this set. Um, I'm so grateful to Elspeth for giving us a model to work with because it has so many amazing um, angles and levels and ways of entering and exiting and moving and this and that. And she um, really rolled with me on this concept that I had to keep actors moving in unusual circular patterns. There's no direct path anywhere. Um, which really mirrors the events of the play and what's going on within those people. Stairs and everything got built, how they're like candy land steps as I like to refer to them, going up and down. It's been really fun building them. Well, the first one that we looked at was Othello, and um, that's where we got the idea of these shifting platforms. But so as you have Othello um, going more and deeper into this kind of paranoia, you actually see his physical space encroach around him. And I think that's, that's really interesting to kind of bring out that emotional story. Uh, Tempest has the same backdrop, but without the shifting going around. So they have this nice sort of uh, seaside ruins. So uh, texturally, architecturally, we fell very, very close together and that was a happy convenience there. Uh, Elspeth put together a design that's beautiful for Othello, but also is just absolutely perfect for the Tempest. So I just love the duality in that, that it can be used for plays that are set in two very different areas and yet work perfectly in both, on, on the same stage. And then for Kids Act, um, we are, we're very non-specific with our architecture choices, our style lines, and so it makes it a nice clean palette for them to work off of. So this set really actually worked perfectly for what we were doing. So having those levels that the kids could play on and utilize the, the height difference to really show who's taking control and who's, who's cowering in fear at different parts of the show worked perfectly for what they were doing. And, and the witches loving all the levels that they could come in and do all of their spooky intimidation factors on Macbeth. So it, it really worked perfectly. And I'm sure it's working great for the other two shows as well.